Ceramics are really interesting materials for me. Uh, the first thing is they can be beautiful, such as this piece, right? But they're also very lightweight, they are hard, they are very durable, they are temperature resistant, they are also uh, inert so you can implant them in your body without any risk. Uh, so they, they would be really wonderful structural materials. The only problem is, as we all know it, ceramics are actually very brittle. So my group uh, research is actually trying to find ways to make them less brittle uh, in order for them to be used in uh, structural applications. So the, the thing we're doing is actually looking at natural materials. Um, and we're doing that for uh, one very important reason. We have some example that show us what is possible. If I take the example of a uh, seashell and the, the actual materials within the seashell that is called nacre, uh, this structure is uh, made of 95% of ceramic, so almost a ceramic, with just 5% of organic glue in between. And if you try to bend it, it will actually slightly bend and deform, despite being 95% ceramic. Uh, there is actually no magic there. We, are, we know the composition of nacre. It's uh, calcium carbonate, and it, if you think about it, it's actually just chalk. So there is nothing coming from the composition. Everything is coming from the microstructure. So the way we're doing it is trying to look at how we can get from you know, this chalk, architecture it in a very nice way, and finally get something that is less brittle. Because then what we can do is take our very own, you know, very hard, very good synthetic material, apply the same idea, the same strategy, to make them into, you know, this type of microstructure that would then be also a lot less brittle. So our main issue now is processing, because there is no off-the-shelf processes that can reach this level of intricacy in the microstructure at the moment. So what we have to do and what is the core goal of uh, our research group is to either develop or you know, modify some existing processes so we can control the microstructure better and reach this, uh, this template, this model of the nacre. In the end, uh, my, my take home message is that if we manage to make, you know, invent these processes, make this microstructure and make actually tough ceramic, we could uh, start using them in plenty of different applications. So we already have ceramic in aerospace, in biomedical, because they have been made um, hard and strong. However, now what would you think could happen if you would have truly deformable ceramic at your disposal? Hi, my name is Victoria. I am a PhD student in the group and one of the projects that I have been working on is making composites at room temperature. And we have developed an easy process where we don't use high temperatures or high pressure and we get excellent results with a high uh, volume fraction. And uh, what we are doing at the moment is use an optical microscope to monitor the assembly of the composite. The experiment takes seven days and you can see it happening in this time-lapse video. We hope you enjoyed watching this video and that it inspires you to discover more about the world of ceramics. <laughs>